Okay, so this one says, uh, what are the hybrid orbitals of the carbon atoms in this molecule? Okay, so um, you can see here we've got a methyl group, a methine group, and a methylene. So let's expand this structure. Okay, so this is the kind of the condensed structure, if you remember. Okay, so we're going to take this and expand it. to its kind of Lewis structure form. And this isn't showing the bond angles, so don't think it is, okay? So when we see this, right, we see here that this carbon atom has one, two, three hydrogens and a carbon bonded to it. So it's got four th things bonded to it. So since it's got four things bonded to it, it's got uh, 109.5 degree bond angle, whenever you see that, that's sp3. Very good, you got that, okay? So same thing here, so can we do this one together? So how many, how many atoms is this carbon bonded to? Three. Three. Three, Three. Three. right, let's count them together, okay? Let's count them together. One here, two there, and where's the other one? Right there, okay, do you see that? Okay, so if it's bonded to three atoms, what is the bond angle? Do you remember that? Or do I, should I help you? That's the 120. 120. 120 degrees and SP, SP2. SP2, okay? Whenever you see 120, it's SP2, okay? So now let's look at this third carbon atom here, okay? And let's do it together. So what do we have to do first? Count how, how many, many atoms. atoms it's bonded to. Very good, right? So how many? So let's go. One, two, and three. Three. Okay, so what's the bond angle? 120. 120, very good. And the S hybridization? S SP2. SP2, okay. So remember, it's not only counting the atoms, but it's also counting the lone pairs too, okay? this. This particular molecule did not have lone pairs on it. So the next video we're going to record, we'll see an atom with lone pairs, and we're going to have to remember we have to count those um, in order to figure out what our hybridization is as well. Okay? okay? Are we good with this one? Yes. Wonderful.